Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video here at Lox Gaming. And for today's video, it's going to be a tutorial on how to use USB keyboard and mouse. Now, a lot of you probably have keyboard and mouse. You probably have it like Bluetooth, right? And there's a lot of videos on, out there on how to just hook it up Bluetooth. It's really simple, really easy to the PS4. But I'm going to show you guys how both uh, the mouse and keyboard can be USB. First off, you're going to need both of these slots open. They only give you two, and you're going to need them both because you have both the mouse and the keyboard. Now, for this example... I have a Logitech mouse right here, and yes, I know this is a really old setup I got going on, but I'm buying all new stuff. It should be coming in the mail soon, and I'm going to start recording again, and there's a lot of... I'm going to show you guys a little gaming setup once I got everything settled, but a really cheap mouse that I have that I just... I've been using. It's been working. It was 15 bucks. It was... It, it's been doing the job, okay? Um, and this is what comes with it. It's a little USB chip. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little USB chip, and I'm going to plug it right into the PS4. Make sure it starts to snug in there, and we're all good. It'll pop up on your menu, and it'll show that it's plugged in. Now you're going to take the other cord here, which is my mouse, or my keyboard, I mean, and my keyboard wire goes down there and is plugged into this thing. So this is actually wireless, my keyboard right here, but this is giving it the signal, and then this wire comes through the back end of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. I'm going to put it in the right way first. <laughs> That'd be a good idea. There we go, bam. Both of them are plugged in. It'll pop up with your name. Just select X, just make sure it's full plugged in. So now right now, I have both my controller and my keyboard and mouse plugged in. Right now, hopefully you guys can see it. I have my mouse right here, moves around with the screen. I'm already in the game, just to show you guys the example. Moves around, there's really no input delay. It's as much as a controller. I can also use the controller at the same time. It, it just magically switches over, it's perfectly fine. Bam, look at that. It, both of them work same time, um, as long as you have the controller on and the USB stuff plugged in. Works perfectly fine. Keyboard, bam, look at that. It It's so simple, so easy. Now this is if you have both a USB keyboard and mouse. Um, if you did have uh, Bluetooth, there's also other videos that are on there. All you have to do is plug in the Bluetooth, um, turn it on, and look in your settings, and bam, the Bluetooth will be popped up in there. Um, but those are different videos for that, but this video I just want to specific, specifically <laughs> show you guys uh, keyboard and mouse USB plugins. So hopefully you guys learned some stuff from this video. Um, it's really simple, you just plug it right in, select your name, and bam, you are in the game. No input delay, and uh, it's really nice. So this is definitely for people who don't know if they want a PC or not, a game PC, and want to try out Fortnite in here and get used to the controls because I've... I, I don't play PC, but I am getting a PS uh, I am getting a PC soon. So it, this is definitely different for me. It's it's good to get used to and so yeah, so hopefully I you guys learned some stuff from this video. If not, then I don't know. But hopefully you guys did. Leave a like on the video and subscribe for more. I'll be bringing you guys more content soon, obviously with my new PC coming in, Fortnite and everything else. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.